Steve, and today we're going to do a segment called How To, and it's going to be How To Load Ribbons in a Magic Card Real Pro Printer. And as always, I'm going to have the bad photo ID of the day at the end of the show. Um, and before we get started on loading the printers, I want to tell you a little bit about the Magic Card printer. It's the Magic Card Real Pro. It comes with a three year warranty, and it's the only printer on the market that has a three year loaner. Um, so if you ever had a problem that we couldn't help you with and fix, they'll send out a printer and send yours back in so you're never without a printer. It also has an added security feature of Holocoat, which is a free way of adding added security by frosting a security pattern into your clear panel in the, in the ribbon. And comes standard with USB and Ethernet. Um, and you get the great support of ID Edge, our tech support. And today we're going to show you how to load the ribbons in the Magic Card, and I'm going to bring in a guest host, which is Kyle from down the hall in our tech department here, and he's going to show us how to load the ribbons in or load load cards, sorry, load cards into the Magic Card Real Pro. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our card hopper here off the back of the printer. I'm going to spin this around for you. So this is the back of the Magic Card Real Pro. What we're going to do is we're going to load our standard CR80 um, PVC 30mm uh, cards. A um, little trick for you um, is to prevent them from sticking together and you know card jamming. Um, it's just fan the edge of the card um, on both sides. That prevents static buildup. Um, that'll help the cards feed into the printer nicely. Um, as you load them in, um, there's no specific orientation for just blank cards. But if you have mag encoding or you have smart card encoding, there is a little diagram up here on which way you need to orient the cards in the card hopper. That way they encode and do what they need to do. Um, it's very simple uh, loading and unloading. Um, all you do is there's a little black wall here. You just run the card hopper into that wall and set down. Um, little advice is that when the card hopper is flush with the top of the lid, you know the card hopper is set in there and you're good to start printing. Um, to unload the cards, it's just as simple as loading. Um, you just pick up the hopper, unload whatever cards you need, and you can either place the hopper back in or you can leave it off to the side. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, no worries. And, and here's our bad photo ID of the day. Yikes. And while you're looking at that, uh, if you have a question, submit it to us on our Facebook page, and if it's used on the show, we'll send you a gift. And if you'll take five minutes of your time, we'll give you a $5 Starbucks card if, if you let us compare prices um, with items that you're currently buying. And you can see the details of that on our website at www.idedge.com or call us at 800-798-3343. Thank you.